this is Norma and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be making some dinner rolls. I have some salted butter. I have flour. This is the flour that I'm using and it's white lily flour. I have some whole milk. I have sugar. Salt and nutmeg. I have some instant yeast. And I have two eggs. One is going to go in the dinner roll, and the other one I'm going to use it to whitewash it before I bake it. So I'm going to try something. I bought this little Black and Decker hand mixer, and when I got it, it had this in there for um, cakes and it also had this in there for dough to mix the dough. So I'm going to try and see how it works. If it's not going to knead it the way I want it, then I'm just going to put it on my counter and knead it by myself. So let's start. If you plan to use all-purpose flour, for this recipe that I'm doing, it will be three and a half cups of all-purpose flour. But because I'm using white lily flour, it is much lighter. So for each cup, I'm using two tablespoons. So it will be a cup and two tablespoons. So since it's three um, cups and a half, so do the three and a half cups for white lily and add six tablespoons and a half. First thing I want to do is sift my flour. I've done my flour and I'm going to set it aside. The first thing I'm going to do is crack one of my eggs and put it in there and mix it. Make sure your eggs, butter, and milk is at room temperature. To the one egg, I'm putting a cup of whole milk, one fourth cup of sugar, And one tablespoon instant yeast. Make sure to always level it out. I'm gonna give that a good stir. Now I'm gonna add the flour. And now I'm gonna add the teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of nutmeg. And mix that up. Now let's see if this stuff works or the do. So I had it going for seven minutes and I'm going to add five tablespoons of salted butter. So I've put the five tablespoons. The reason you're going to um, kneel it is because you need to develop elasticity and also you got to move the fermentation gas from in there. So I'm going to just flip it over like this. And start to do it again. So as 
you're doing it, make sure to scrape and also around it because you want the butter to be incorporated. And I'm going to continue to do it. It keeps rolling up so it's not working for me so I'm going to put it on my counter and continue to knead it. Just gotta put some manpower in it. Total time that I needed was 15 minutes, so I'm gonna take it from my counter. I have a bowl right here with some oil, and I put this in a bowl, and I'm just gonna put it in my bowl, put some oil on it. I'm gonna put some saran wrap. Cover it with a cloth and I'm going to put it in my oven. My oven is not on but I just want it to stay there warm for an hour. I had it sitting in my oven. It was not on for an hour and a half. And I'm just going to get the air out. on my counter I'm gonna cut it a glass dish right here and I'm just going to put some parchment paper on it and I'm going to take one of it and I'm going to roll it in a ball and set it in my pan Take another one. And start to roll it in a ball. And set that in my pan. And I'm going to do all of them and I'll be back. I've done it. And I'm going to cover it with saran wrap again. In my dish towel and I'm gonna set it in my oven that is not on for another hour and I will be ready. it has been sitting for another hour and it has double in size and I'm gonna make an egg wash for my egg wash I'm gonna be using one egg and a tablespoon of water and I do that. You don't have to do it. I do it because it looks more appealing and appetizing. You will see when I put it out there after I bake it. Usually if you just put it in the oven without it, it has that dull look. So let me come and do my egg wash. I'm going to crack my egg. And I'm going to whisk it real well. I want everything to be mixed up together well. 
Now I'm going to add a tablespoon of water. It's just tap water. I have my oven that's preheating to 350 degrees. So I have my brush and I'm just going to put it in the batter and just brush it on top of my rolls. You will see what a beautiful color that we have when it comes out of the oven. And if you like scrambled eggs, you can just take it and put it in an airtight what's left over in an airtight container and put that in your fridge and use it within three days. Now that I've done that, I'm going to stick it in my oven. It's been 20 minutes. I took it out of my oven. This is my salted butter. I'm going to melt it and I'll be back. And I'm going to put butter on it. It smells wonderful. I can't wait to dig in it. To me, if you only use the teaspoon of salt and you don't use salted butter for three and a half cups of flour, it tastes too bland for me. Now open it up and put some butter in there. And I'm going to be having this with some coffee. See how wonderful it looks. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification button so each time I upload you will be notified. Bye bye.